Now that's a mystery. Gus, are you in here? Gus? Even with this thing? Gus, how did you get in here? Like seriously. You causing trouble for them? You didn't seem to be. But he did eat all of their hay. Gus, you ate all of their hay. I'm sorry, Dice. Grape. You're stuck in your house. Not exactly sure how you got in here, considering I constructed this big wall. This isn't disturbed. Pippi, how did he get in? I mean, I'm lucky it didn't go worse than it did. Did anybody fight? I should be stopping this, but I'm kind of curious because they've been together for a long time. Now poor Grape is upset. What do you think about this? Man, I hate to disrupt everything. But if Gus and Dice could get along, then there's a chance that I could pair Grape up with somebody different. But the question also is, how did he get over? Did he, how? Because if he hopped over this, how he could have fallen out. That would have been not good. And you can't get through there. <sighs> what am I gonna do with you, Gus? You stay in here, okay? Jesus. That had me really worried. He could have easily fallen over. Grape, where are you? You staying out of this? Okay, well he moved this to the side, so if I secured this wall higher with a wider piece of chloroplast, he couldn't get out. But now it makes me wonder, could these guys even get along? And if so, could Grape get along with somebody else? This is risky. And Grape's been such a good friend to Dice. And I would hate to break that. That's why I always say it's all about personality. Now another thing maybe I could do 
if they could get along is expand the cage and make them a trio, but I think long term that probably wouldn't work. Well, Gus, this is what you put yourself into. <laughs> <laughs> eh, what do you think about this he's like you come into my area you come into my house but it's getting dice way too excited and then he's messing with grape and I don't like that so definitely absolutely do not try this at home kids But they've been together for hours already. I'm gonna fill the snack shack with hay and I'm gonna see what happens because what we want is the most harmonious pairs so we can have piggies. We don't want a two by four cage to be for one pig if we can put two piggies that get along together and if these more rambunctious boys can get along then grape being more docile might be able to get along with another piggy and this is not something that you would want to try you don't want to say okay this is a good match but maybe I can get a better match that's how you end up with a bunch of single piggies but like I said, it's all about personality, it's all about knowing your pigs, and I wouldn't try this if I didn't think I could put Dice back. And he's already been kind of crazy with Grape, and Grape has been tolerating it. And obviously if I put Dice back with Grape, and Gus is back to being by himself again, then he won't have anybody to fight with. But if these two guys could get along, and the reason why I'm thinking it's possible is because even though Gus is being annoying, Dice is being just as annoying. They seem to be uh, charging off of each other's weird energy. Now, Pipsqueak, don't you go and, and make things worse. Nate, what do you think about this? Okay, I've got to get hay anyways, so I'm going to fill the snack shack with hay. That's an interesting development because this is Gus's chill spot. I don't think that Dice has chased him up here. He's like, ha. Gus is such a jerk, but he is the funniest and cutest piggy. Oh. Dice is starting to get upset. Starting to hear some tooth chattering. Boys, I think this experiment's over, unfortunately. But again, as long as we don't upset Dice too much... All right, that's it. Most of the time, they're not as bad as they seem when you look at them in slow motion. Can we go back to normal? Can you be nice, Dice? You proud of yourself? Don't give me that look. You did this to yourself. Yeah.
You're not gonna chase him? That's good, Dice. It's good. For more information about guinea pig bonding, cage mates, and who can and should live with who, check out my bonding playlist. There's the bonding rules video, and then there's a whole bunch of bonding videos where you see what is acceptable behavior and when to stop and when to intervene. All right, until next time, thanks for watching.